there's something interesting about Henry. He's at a boiling point. Like everything is not working out for him. So his career is going down the tubes. His marriage just mm -hmm. ended in tragedy. Mm -hmm. His love affair, the thing that he thought he was going to be able to leave one thing and go to the other thing, abruptly came to an end. So here's a guy who's sort of at his wit's end. He's confused. He's feeling lost. And he's not an idiot. Like he's right. really smart, and he's a strong guy. So I think you're going to watch Henry start to boil a uh -huh. little bit and start to try to figure it out. What does and that kind of look like that? for him? Yeah. I mean, that's what you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you'll have to tune in uh -huh. Tuesday nights, of course. 9 o'clock on the sea. Nice. If I'm coming back too, I imagine, because she's still pregnant, we'll actually have to see ramifications from this. If she's right. making herself known in people's worlds. Right. Is she making herself known in people's worlds? Does Henry kind of have an in inkling as to any of it? I don't know. You're, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know. You're uh, just not going to tell me. It's okay. I understand. But it's I can, a I can turn this off and then you can tell me. It's an awesome question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, um, if you had to tease your, the return You're episode. You're very good, by the way, at interviews. You are very good. <laughs> Could you, you tell me subject, nothing? But you your subject into a sense I've confused of, quite a few uh, people this week with questions, and they've given me answers that they haven't. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've I'll done just it, say that. I've done it to you, and on, you've done it to me on great occasion. Roger, the show depends on, uh, well, it's the mystery. Sort of, of, and of keeping the audience guessing. Yeah. And what's fun about it is that so far it's all been very organic. Yeah. It's all been very sort of legitimate. Like. Well, there have been so many red herrings, too. Yeah. Like, is that consistent in the back half of the season, um, do you think? The red the, it, it's. I would say that there's less red herrings this time around and more new information. Okay, good. And new information that becomes game changers for, again, like Siobhan, like, again, the best bite I can give you is that Siobhan coming back to New York literally upsets the balance of everyone's existence. Because okay. you see Bridget, and she's settling into Andrew. And you see Andrew, and the fact that the audience wants them together, mm -hmm. that ain't gonna sit well with Siobhan. <laughs> and with Henry, not knowing, or not knowing, I mean, and so all of these people, and then Machado being there, and like, are those two gonna meet? Mm -hmm. Like, are the, you know what I mean? Right. Like, is he gonna meet the real? So there's all these interesting, like, possibilities, and if you're telling the story, and of course, you don't want people to, like, because it'll if you ruin it, it's it's that's the fun of you know yeah. this show. There's a couple of other shows out there this season that um, are demanding you to kind of watch them mm -hmm. live, which is fun. Mm -hmm. um, you know what else demands to watch live? Live tweeting and Swingo. Uh, you do, I I can't tell you how many commercials I saw with you in it for Swingo. I haven't seen. Have you played? I haven't seen one. Oh Jesus! Commercial. Well, you probably you probably no, are busy. And, and I mean, people, I'm the one that sits at home. No, and people are like, man, I saw your Swingo, and I'm like. So you don't play. <laughs> Where's my swingo money? <laughs> oh, well, no. then none of us get any uh, prizes, so. <laughs> no, I. Uh, so no. no, so still no on the live tweeting. Yeah, tweeting. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm half kidding, but Tweeters, okay. Tweeters, I love you guys, and I love the Tweet Nation, and the president tweets. The president, yeah, the president tweets. follows me on Twitter. That's the scary Doesn't part. Matter. I think he follows like a handful of random people. Yeah, it, that's, that's what's scary about it because I mean I don't really tweet political things, yeah, but, but it doesn't matter. You they're know, still being like, watched. They're still well, watching. obviously we're all being watched. <laughs> right. Um, that was that was bad acting, but we are being watched. Um, here's the deal. I uh, I don't know. I, I hardly do Facebook. Anymore. I know. I've noticed. You noticed. It's all right. You're busy. I gotta be honest with you though. Did and you, I, I hope. Did you feel like do you feel Facebook fatigue? Did you feel? Oh, Facebook I don't use Facebook that much. Fatigue setting? That's I use Twitter. You use That's Twitter. why. Like I'm really not into you, Facebook. Okay. So do you get a thousand messages from people you follow? Twitter? Yeah. I get people I follow. Yeah, you see a stream. You can ignore them or not. They're not necessarily directed at you then there's a separate stream for the ones that are directed at you. And those are considerably less because they're people who comment on what I'm saying or want to engage me in a conversation. So obviously on a day like today when they know I'm talking to people like you, they tweet me their questions for, for people like you and things like that. But I mean, you can be as active as you want to be. You don't have to engage anybody if you don't want to. I mean, let's be honest with you. I'm not an enemy of, of no. Twitter and I don't, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't. I haven't embraced it yet. And I feel like when I do, I want it to be, I want it to be right. Oh Jesus! I want my Twitter, I want my Twitter experience to be the right one. 
Uh huh. Okay. Well, I hope the reason that you said you're staying away from Facebook is because you're so busy shooting a lot of Ringer that you just you're on Can't set all the time. the time. Between between Facebook, I mean between yeah. Facebook, between uh, Ringer and Jude, my little well, I would say the babies. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a busy girl. Of course, but it's, it's a good. good thing. It's a good busy. It's a good day. It's all good.